Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys some more RuneScape 2007 and today I wanted to cover a topic that has been in the community a lot recently, which is, is this game gonna die? And I have made a video on this before, but a lot has changed since then, so I just wanted to um, kind of remake it and give my own input at the situation that we have now. So. Ever since the DDoS attacks on the servers and the end of summer, there has been a significant loss in population on this game. We are still at a decent amount, but it obviously could be better, and obviously the economy could be better, which is the main thing being hurt by this loss of players, and um, the main thing is that most of the players who play this game are really high level, and we do need a lot of new players on this game if you want to keep the economy good, because if you go uh, on the game right now, I, I haven't checked in a while just because I have not had a lot of time to play the game at all lately and I'll get into that later but if you go on the game like last time I checked the BGS was like 4 mil or something and I just don't want this game to just turn into easy scape you know pretty much like a ruined economy like RS3 because when you have something as rare as a Bandles or Zamorak hilt only like 3 mil that shows you something that there are too many high level players on this game and the economy is just uneven um when it comes to the high level items so instead of trying to just damage control and add more items into the game that have higher level requirements such as 80 attack or strength what we need to do is get more new players into the game by getting it on steam and this may also mean that we have to make it a little more new friendly and i know this is going to make some of the elitist pro wannabes a little butt hurt but hey if there are not any new players coming into the game then the economy is going to die and the population on the game is going to die and then it's not going to be fun because you're going to have nobody to play with and the economy is going to be shit and it's just going to become easy skate so there's no point in playing the game anyways because there's no fun or challenge to it so if there are not new people coming into the game then there won't be a game to play and um also, if somebody, say they've never even heard of RuneScape in their life, were to just stumble across old school RuneScape, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? What makes this game fun? And then they're gonna probably last an hour and then just click off. So what we need to do is get this game more polished, and that may mean we'll have to do some graphical updates, which will make the game look a little more up to date. However, that's not really possible anyways, because the old school RuneScape developing team isn't even big enough to do that sort of work. However, they are working on the resizable window and full screen mode for the game so I think that is gonna make a huge difference for people who are just trying out this game for the first time and I actually made a video suggesting a window resizable mode a couple months back so I'm glad that this update is coming out I have long awaited it so like I said we need to get this game on Steam and get this game taken seriously because we don't want it to just be an indie game that is a side project of RS3 that's not what we want this game game to be anymore if we want it to survive so we need to get this game on steam and also have it free to play on steam which will get a lot of new players into the game and once we have them into the game we need these people to understand what they are actually doing and be able to find the fun factor in it now another thing that a lot of people have been talking about that is killing the game is the fact that we cannot get any updates through the polls. Now I am somebody who has pretty much only PVM'd on this game. All of my skilling skills are shit and they're at least under 70 and all of my combat skills are pretty much over 80. Also, I have never PvP'd in my life. Ever since I even started the main game back in actual 2006, I have never PvP'd anybody legitimately, and I'm looking to change that, because what happens when you have PvM so much to where you have like a 100 mil bank? What do you do for fun then? Do you just continue PvMing? No, you gotta go do something different, such as PvP, or actually level a skilling skill with the money that you got. So, I'm looking to change that, and actually, apparently, not many other people in the community are because all people want to pass updates for in the game apparently is something for slayer or new bosses and i literally slay and boss all the time and i know this is not gonna work because if you look at the kraken or the smoke devil they were added into the game because people wanted bossing and slayer however all of the items that they drop are pretty much shit price now because so many people want pvm and slayer so now that the items from the new slayer monsters and bosses are pretty much down to shit people want even more slayer monsters and bosses apparently 
And this is not the right way to damage control, okay? This is not going to work because the more you do this, the more the economy gets ruined because you're adding higher level items into the game. And then eventually people are going to realize, you know what, I'm sick of PVMing and I want to go PvP. And then since you added all of these higher level items into the game that are worth nothing, people are going to be able to kill each other in like two hits. And that's not the way we want to try and fix the economy. What we need to do is add updates to actual skills and PvP because otherwise people are just going to keep spending their money on PVM gear so PVMing will be easier for them and then all the items that are obtained from PVMing just become less and less and the cycle continues until for example the AGS is down to 20 mil. So first of all people need to start voting for things like PVP and skilling because People right now are just voting for PVM, which makes the economy shit, and let me give you an example. What if every single person in the world worked for construction businesses? Do you think the economy would be that good? This is the same way where if people just vote for PVM updates, people will only be PVMing, and then the economy will be shit in the game too. So. Even if you are a PVMer, you should still vote for PVPing and skilling updates so that way that part of the economy stays alive or else there's not going to be an economy to actually have in the game. And there are way too many biased opinions out there and I'm going to use Artisan for an example. So basically people didn't like skilling so they didn't want to vote for a skill that involved skilling even though they want a new skill. Um, so they just decided, well, if I'm not going to go skilling, then this is going to be level one. And I don't want a level one skill on my account because that'll look bad. Even though nobody gives a fuck about the RuneScape 2007 high scores anyways, unless you're 99 and everything. And then these people with the biased opinions had a mindset of, well, if they were to add a new skill into the game, that would probably take a lot of time. And why would I have them make an update that would take a lot of time that I don't care for when they could be making updates for more PVM? So basically what I'm trying to say with this video is, first of all, we need to get the game on Steam. Second of all, people need to stop having biased opinions and just gearing their account towards one thing. Because eventually you're going to do enough of that one thing like I already have and you're going to become sick of it and you're going to want to find something new to do. And then once you want to find something new to do, it's going to be too late because the economy is shit. So if you enjoyed the video and the suggestions that I made, then please support them. I will be tweeting this video out and also probably posting it on Reddit. So if you guys could support me on there and down in the comment section below and in the rating section, that would be much appreciated. And also I wanted to address my shortage of uploads, which is caused by, first of all, I started school again, which cuts like seven hours out of my day. And then I'm working usually like three and a half hours on weekdays which cuts out pretty much like 10 hours of my day and then I also have to get a good sleep and there isn't much to do on RuneScape because I only get like two hours to play the game and I can't find much to do in it and also I'm trying to get videos up but also there's still not a lot of time so I hope you guys can understand if you did enjoy this video then please support it and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed peace